Ahí comienza. La funza, la funza es. Alson Tiwari is from Jabalpur. Yes. And you have done your mechanical engineering from Richardopalli. Yes. Uh, I think you have number of institutions in Jabalpur. There are a number of institutions in Jabalpur. Can you yes, name sir. a few? Uh, sir, uh, in terms of engineering colleges, sir, or other institutes also, sir? Uh, sir, uh, there is Rani Durgavati University, there is Jawaharlal Nehru uh, Krishi Vishavidyale, there is Jabalpur Engineering College for Engineering, sir, as well as there is Tropical Forest Research Institute of uh, Forest, sir. There are two institutes, forestry institute. Okay, sir. Uh, sir, I am not aware about the second institute. One sir. is belonging to central government, other is of the state government. Okay, sir. Hmm? Thank, thank you, sir. I am not aware of the second one, sir. Uh, your father is in soil uh, conservation service. Yes. Tell me what is his main job profile? Uh, sir, at the present time, sir, he is working in Pradhan Mantri Krishi Sai Yojana, sir, wherein, sir, he has to build various Balram Tals that is being used by the uh, farmers. What, what is that? Balram Tal, sir. Balram? Tal, sir. Tals. Yes, sir. Okay. It's, it is a pond like structure, pond. sir. Okay, yes, sir. Hmm. Which is used for irrigation by the farmers, sir. Uh, how some existing structure is to be modified or what? No, or sir. New, new have to be done. So new have to be made. If there is some existing, uh, uh, if existing uh, area is also there, then it can be modified also, sir. But a new structure is built, sir. Most of the time. Under sir. which scheme? It is under sir uh, uh, Balram Tal Yojana of uh, state government, sir. Ah. And uh, it comes under uh, the funding is also received from uh, Pradhan Mantri Krishi Sai Yojana, sir. And and Narega also and MG Analytics. Uh, no sir. Because they also dig uh, 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 Sir, they are using uh, JCB machines, sir, for uh, digging up the soil, sir. So this MG Analytics no, is not be used. No sir. Okay. And there is some scheme uh, this um, under the Amrit Mahotswa, some so, uh, throwers scheme is also there. Seventy five pounds in a uh, in each and every district of the country. You heard about that? Uh, I'm sorry, sir. I'm not uh, hard. I'm not heard about it, sir. Okay. okay. <clears throat> mimicry. Hmm? Yes, sir. Uh, some various personalities. Which type of mimicry do? Uh, sir, mostly I do mimicry of uh, Bollywood actors, sir. Bollywood actor. Yes, sir. Can you mimic one or two? Uh, yes, sir. Which I, one I, is the best you do? Uh, sir, best I do of uh, uh, Sri Raj Kumar, the uh, Bollywood actor, and uh, Sri Sanjeev Kumar, sir. And, uh, Rajkumar is alive? No, sir, he is not alive, sir. Okay. Just. Uh, uh, okay, sir, I'll do a small uh, act, sir. Ah, of uh, Rajkumar, please. Uh, so, there is a conversation between uh, Rajkumar and uh, Sri Sanjeev Kumar. So, Rajkumar asks to him, I'll do it in Hindi, sir. Sanjeev Kumar ji, aap hame ye bataye ki kaun se state mein cheetah ka translocation ho raha hai. So Sanjeev Kumar ji says that Cheetah ka translocation is in the Pradesh ke Kuno National Park. Mein ho raha hai. That's good. Okay. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> National Board for Wildlife? National Board of Wildlife, you heard of? Yes, sir, I have heard what of it. What is this? Uh, sir, it has been considered un under Wildlife Protection Act, sir, which is being chaired by Prime Minister, sir. And uh, it takes various decisions relating to uh, like boundary of uh, national park as well as uh, wildlife sanctuary. If there is to be a change in uh, the boundary of uh, wildlife sanctuary or national park, it is being taken by, decision is being taken by National Board of Wildlife, sir. As well as, sir, uh, uh, in declaration of tiger reserve, uh, the recommendation of uh, NTCA is being approved by, sir, uh, National Board of Wildlife. Similarly, if a state has to denotify a tiger reserve, it has to be recommended by NTCA followed by the, uh, there, there is one standing committee also? Yes, sir. Ah. It, it is being chaired by sir, uh, Environment, uh, Union uh, Minister of Environment and Forest, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. If some wildlife area is to be diverted for some infrastructure project or other uh, uh, projects, yes, eh? what is the procedure? Uh, sir, uh, if any forestry area is to be diverted for a non-forestry non purpose, sir, sir then uh, there is a, uh, according to the Forest Conservation Act, sir, the same has to be approved by uh, a special committee that has been constituted uh, by central government, sir. 
so they take, take the decision based on the report by the uh, divisional forest officer who is posted he'll give the what was my report. question uh, my question was wildlife areas to be diverted okay i'm sorry sir uh, if some wildlife area is to be diverted for sir. some project sir huh? what is the procedure uh, sir i'm not aware about the same but i can uh, try to answer this question sir. Mm. it must be approved by national board of wildlife sir and i'm not sure about the procedure i'm not sure about, uh, and supreme court also okay sir thank you sir uh, on 5th of june we celebrated what uh, sir we celebrate world environment day sir on what was the june. theme uh, sir i'm not aware about mm. the theme sir only one earth okay and thank you sir. today also there is some international day is there okay sir uh, i'm not aware about it sir international food day mm. thank you sir okay uh, Uh, as a forest officer what role would you have in development of tribals and rural areas so uh, sir uh, we can uh, provide employment to the tribal youth sir in terms of forest because uh, the area of forest that is being taken care by forest guards are is very huge sir so we can use uh, tribal youth in terms of forest watcher as well as they can help in uh, 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 getting us uh, inputs regarding the forest fire wildlife poaching so they can be employed gainfully in that field sir as well as sir we can uh, establish uh, we can uh, uh, develop some uh, institution wherein we can uh, uh, like we can utilize minor forest produce bet in a better way by doing value addition and uh, through uh, trifid we can sell the same produce so that the problem of middlemen can be can be eliminated sir service sector you know service sector yes sir eh? what is the contribution of service sector to our gdp uh, sir i'm not sure about the exact percent but it, it is around more than 50% sir okay all right sir. mr tiwari yes sir you are working in uh, ordinance sector you are uh, engineering service officer is it yes sir and that is your core area and now you are yes, moving sir. to forest service which is not your core area Sir. what is the reason why you want to shift from your core area to something you are not aware of sir uh, sir in indian forest services uh, sir there is a uh, opportunity to directly interact with the public sir and we can work for their welfare sir and uh, there is the field tenure in the indian forest services is more compared to other services sir as well as sir i had an opportunity to interact with a very senior indian forest services officer sir and he shared his experiences with me sir which uh, motivated me to join this service sir elaborate on the experiences which he shared uh, sir he was uh, working uh, in the in uh, arunachal pradesh uh, agmut cadre sir basically so he shared that due, uh, during the like various issues of uh, instances of wildlife poaching uh, and whatever cases he he himself fought the cases if there was any uh, issue related to wildlife protection act if any uh, uh, i mean uh, there is some uh, kind of they someone has uh, done like poaching or something he used to fight th those cases for the government and he has convicted 95% of the uh, uh, cases he has written convictions sir moreover he has also uh, worked he has also done a uh, uh, phd in uh, bamboo so he also shared the inputs about that also sir but mainly th these experiences are there sir that is his area of expertise your area of expertise is engineering you could have utilize that motivation to work better in your field is it not uh yes sir i i, I have been working in the engineering field for the last few years sir the uh, but the amount of exposure that we get in terms of public interactions sir it is uh, right. more in sir for sir you also play chess uh yes sir i play chess sir. how has uh, this alpha 0 revolutionized the whole chess game okay sir uh, sir i am not aware about are you aware of stockfish uh, no sir i am not it's one of the most popular uh, chess engine it was thoroughly beaten by uh, alpha 0 thank you sir uh, it's, uh, it's a ai based alpha program and uh, it has opened up new ideas on playing chess in fact okay, the world number one magnus carlsen is also trying to understand how these moves are made okay, uh, would you rate uh, rook if you have to rate rook and uh, bishop which one will you rate more and what are the reasons sir uh sir i would rate uh because according to me i i use uh, rook more than uh, bishop sir 
so i would uh, ra rate rook higher because if if we have to do checkmate in a chess game then we can use two rooks to to the checkmate or one rook along with the king but with bishop we cannot uh, go for the checkmate sir so oh. only using bishop not a logical answer sir so. with a with a rook and a king you can do checkmate with a bishop and a king you cannot do checkmate yes sir so obviously rook is much better yes, sir is it not yes sir so the question was that sir the sir, question sir, was sir. not about your liking tell us about driverless vehicle vehicles and what are the issues related to driverless vehicles uh, sir so i have not read much about this uh, development sir although i have read it but i am not what uh, do you know about driverless vehicles or autonomous uh, sir, vehicles uh, sir uh, sir it will not uh, it it can be uh, uh, driven without a manual intervention without a, that is without a driver sir and the issue may be sir like in indian uh, scenario if we look sir then uh, because in the foreign countries the usually the speed of the vehicle is uh, higher and there are more lanes but in indian condition uh, there can be a sudden interruption like uh, a cattle come can come in the way or any other uh, intervention so it might not there, be there is an issue regarding fixing the liability okay sir are you aware of what exactly is the problem uh, i'm not aware about the okay issue, as sir, far as uh, can... uh, autonomous vehicles concerned lidar are you do you know what is lidar uh, sir lidar stands for uh, light detection and ranging sir mm. so uh, th basically the uh, i mean there is a, a particular area which the uh, driverless vehicle will uh, cover i mean it will check this much is the field of view where it can uh, will it intercept any other uh, uh, obstruction as, which is coming in, it. in as space, far as uh, lidar is concerned elon musk made a statement lidar is an obsolete technology and we don't need lidar so but other companies are using lidar autonomous vehicles so are you aware of this issue why is that statement made uh, i'm sorry sir okay. thank you thank you sir okay ansul sir why uh, jabalpur is called uh, sanskar dhani sir uh sir uh, jabalpur in jabalpur sir uh, various uh, religious figures like sri osho rajneesh he was from uh, jabalpur and maharshi yogi sir he was also from jabalpur these are one of the reasons that jabalpur is called sanskar dhani sir mm -hmm. so why uh, there is uh, i mean industries are not that much in madhya pradesh why so what are the reasons so Uh, they are confined to indore area pithampur and but jawalpur areas because yes sir we lack uh, why uh, sir it might be due to the sir uh, although sir the availability of mineral is there in madhya pradesh in terms of copper and uh, manganese mines as well as limestone there are uh, various cement factories in madhya pradesh sir but overall in terms of uh, skill and uh, education sir uh, madhya pradesh has been lacking in that field sir with uh, lower literacy literacy rate and uh, Uh, economic conditions are uh, the people are not that much educated, sir. This might be one of the reason the uh, lack of skilled labor, sir. Okay. There, What sir. are the important national parks in Madhya Pradesh? Uh, sir, uh, it is uh, Pech National Park, then uh, Kanha National Park, sir, Bandhogarh National Park, uh, Panna National Park, sir, hmm. Kuno Palpur National Park, sir, and uh, Satpura National Park, as well as Van Vihar in Bhopal, sir. Okay. What are the important uh, agricultural crops? Uh, uh, I mean, produced uh, in uh, in Madhya Pradesh, sir. Sir, it will be wheat, soya bean. MP is the highest producer of soya bean, sir. Mm -hmm. Then wheat and rice mm -hmm. and pulses also, sir. Okay, so you told about pulses, sir. The GI tag is given to some pulses in uh, Madhya Pradesh. Which area? Uh, sir, I'm uh, not uh, aware about the development, sir, about the GI tag. But there was a issue. For GI tag of basmati rice, I have heard about that, but uh, for pulse, I have not heard, sir. In Gardar Baba. Okay, sir, I have not heard about the development, sir. Okay. The I pulse. should have, but I should have uh, heard. About, yeah, uh, read about it. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Mm. Just tell. Uh, what is the difference between a national park and a sanctuary, sir? Sir, a uh, wildlife sanctuary is. designated for a particular conservation of a particular species while in national park there is no such uh, uh, particular uh, it is mainly for the conservation of the whole landscape sir mm -hmm. and uh, the area of wildlife sanctuary is uh, generally larger than the national park sir mm -hmm. and uh, the boundaries of the national park mm -hmm. is being given by the legislation while in wildlife sanctuary there is no such a boundation is there sir. what is the difference between uh, reserve forest sir 
and uh, protected forest sir so, uh, sir in the protected forest in reserve forest sir most of the activities like grazing uh, lopping topping apart shifting cultivation are uh, prohibited sir and most of the activities are prohibited unless it is permitted while in protected forest it is the reverse sir most of the activities are permitted unless it is prohibited sir it is given by the indian what forest what is the difference Act. between village forest and forest village uh, sir village forest is given by indian forest act sir for the uh, benefit of the community living around the forest area they can use uh, the resources from the forest and minor forest areas forest village sir it must be i'm uh, i'm sir making a guess here sir okay, forest why? village should be the uh, area uh, if a village is located nearby the forest area sir or inside the forest area it, it should be uh, forest village sir its status is reserve forest or the protected forest uh, i'm not sure sir i'm not sure about it sir. okay what is the hierarchy of uh, forest administration start from forest guard okay sir uh, sir in the beat level it is forest guard sir then there is uh, in uh, madhya pradesh there is deputy range, ranger or forester what, what we call in uh, other places then there is a range forest officer uh, above him is assistant conservator of forest or a sub divisional officer then there is divisional forest officer or deputy conservator of forest then there is a conservator of forest then chief conservator of forest then uh, additional uh, principal chief conservator of forest and above him is a principal chief conservator of forest sir and above that and uh, above that sir uh, uh, in state i think there should be uh, a secretary of the uh, no no i'm talking about the forest hierarchy not uh, sir uh, uh, yes. forest hierarchy is headed by uh, so you director you told the last one is the principal chief conservator of forest yes sir at state then level sir even up than that okay sir is uh, there any post uh, at the state level sir i am not aware of it sir at the center is it headed by director general of forest sir but in state level i am not aware sir okay what wildlife you will find in the urban areas city okay sir so i am unable to uh, recollect the exact uh, wildlife uh, that will because generally we see uh, domesticated animals in uh, urban landscapes sir uh, so i am not able to think that if any wildlife i have seen in uh, urban okay. area sir snakes you know come into there yes sir snakes will definitely come into it the snakes rodents may also come sir and now they find the leopard also sir leopard uh, but yes sir there, there have been instances in uttarakhand sir that leopard and, and tiger uh, 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 oh. okay sir okay okay so you are uh, working in the defense sector yes, for government of india right sir. Uh, yesterday some announcements were made sir. and uh, defense acquisition council has suggested something sir what was it uh, sir i have not read about you it not read. okay sir. what are the issues in uh, you know promoting the atmanirbhar bharat manufacturing in the defense sector what are the issues which are coming up sir uh, sir in india sir in defense sector sir we have been mostly dependent on import of the technology sir we have been importing from russia and uh, france basically sir and the problem is sir the uh, msme industries and other small industries are not developed enough to produce quality products in terms of uh, uh, defense sector like in ordnance factory board sir we are uh, taking pro- uh, c- certain amount of uh, products from uh, msme industries but the quality is not up to the mark sir so we need to focus on uh, the quality aspect as well as sir we need to focus on research and development sir we have not been doing enough uh, research and development when it comes to the uh, defense field sir so for becoming atmanirbhar we need to focus on uh, research and development capability as well sir so research and development by private sector or by the government itself uh, sir right now uh, if in terms of research and development uh, drdo is the main agency sir apart from it ordnance factory board is being uh, has been carrying out research and development for the last 7 to 8 years sir but we also need to uh, include private sector sir because the uh, the funding they can give to the defense uh, that can be sir huge sir as well as sir we need to include include the academic side sir there is only one institute in india which is defense institute of advanced technology in pune which is for uh, particularly for defense sector sir so if we develop institute like in iits or iit madras we can develop a course sir wherein we can train uh, various individuals and make a proper uh, ecosystem wherein the user the army as well as the uh, research organization as well as the manufacturers sir they come close in a close collaboration as well as we can use academic institutions sir then only we can uh, develop a better ecosystem and we can develop a new product in a shorter time frame sir okay all right sir uh, what do we import from russia in terms of arms uh, sir uh, right now we are uh, ak203 we are uh, having a uh, 
joint venture we are having a indo russian rifle uh, apart from it we are s400 we are importing as of now sir and uh, we have a joint venture with russia uh, that is brahmos aerospace limited sir and some fifth generation aircraft also you are developing uh, uh, i'm sorry I'm, i'm sorry sir i'm not aware about this okay sir. all right uh okay now coming to campa fund have you heard of campa funds yes sir so what are the source of that campa funds uh, sir if any uh, forestry land is uh, diverted for non forestry purpose sir sir then their net value of forest is being calculated and the uh, same amount is has been paid out by the uh, the private sector or whoever sector is uh, using that land sir so that is being given to the campa funds 10% of the fund goes to the national level and 90% is given to the state level sir okay and how is the utilization of campa funds in madhya pradesh uh, uh, sir i'm not uh, sure about how much it has been utilized in madhya pradesh sir but the utilization has been very low sir and it was pointed out by the honorable supreme court that the utilization of the fund has been low sir what is joint forest management uh, sir joint forest management is the involvement of local community in the production and management of uh, forest area sir it has been done in mp also uh yes sir it it has been done in mp also sir okay any outcomes of that any positive benefits uh yes sir uh, in terms of like if we involve community sir they will be they will be also getting uh, benefits from the forest so they will be more involved in the uh, better management of forest sir and uh, it will help in uh, reducing forest fire in incidents as well as poaching incidents in forest sir okay all right uh tell me how to tackle the menace of e waste there have been some rules also but i don't think it is being implemented properly sir uh, sir uh, first of all we need a robust collection mechanism sir because if uh, a common person is using a phone he might not be aware of the rules sir there are various rule where there has been incentive for uh, if we return back our e uh, e waste then there is incentive for that so we need to increase the information education and awareness that whatever e waste that we are whatever waste that we are generating that should be uh given to the proper uh, collector sir and after the collection uh, the disposal should be done uh, by uh, it should not be a primitive method it should be done as per the uh, norms and given by sir uh, agencies sir. what about recycling yes sir recycling can also be done sir uh, we can use uh, there have been uh, uh, in mobile phones they, we are using sir refurbished phone and they, they are also available at various e-commerce sites sir recycling is also a good option sir Okay, so sir, your interview is over. Thank Good you. Good performance.